So here's a match in the Panther 2 that I played with Quasar and Sophie. We've ended up in a tier 9 match on Tundra. Four tier 9s per side. Not really the ideal setup for this, but it's doable. Panther 2 is a tank I haven't really played that much for a while. Um, I used to play it a lot, but recently I haven't really touched it much. I don't necessarily think it's a bad tank, I just think there are other, uh, excuse me, other mediums at tier 8 which are just better suited to this kind of uh, fight. Certainly, there are tier 8s which are mostly just carrying tier 10s. And a lot of them as well just feel more comfortable. With that said, the 8.8 .8 buff to the German tanks actually helped the Panther 2 quite a bit. And it's a much more comfortable tank to drive now. It's going to be a long game just as a warning. And I make a lot of mistakes very early on. In fact, uh, I make so many mistakes, it's a wonder that I didn't die within the first couple of minutes of the match. So there's one already. I've been hit in the back by something I can't see. My second mistake was driving over here. I have no idea why I did it because now I'm exposed to everything. So that was probably the Tiger or SU-101 hitting me in the back. Sorry, the replay's kind of stopping and starting a bit. So here we go, I've lost half my hit points, I haven't even done a single point of damage yet. Now I've lost three quarters of my hit points without doing a single point of damage. It was indeed the S101 firing at me before. So things are looking pretty dire for me over here. I've already thrown away all my hit points. I've got not a huge amount in the way of support. I'm in a bad position where I can be hit if I drive forwards or backwards and Artie has a chance at actually getting me. Here I fuck up even more by driving out and knocking that tree over. At this point I decide, look, T29's here to distract them. E50 next to me here is uh, here to distract them, so first opportunity I get, I'm gonna move somewhere else. So I sit and wait for a while. Just taking stock of what's going on. Team's kind of spread out, a lot of these guys don't seem to know what they're doing. As opposed to what I did evidently, which was just being an idiot. So I use the T29 as cover here to get away, and as soon as I know I'm safe, I start to look at what I can actually get done here. No shots on the ISU, he's on the wrong side of a hill. So I continue towards the east. look for shots on the 101, because it would be nice to remove him from the game, but he also is behind a hill. So I've really set myself up quite badly here. I've not only given away all those hit points, but I've positioned myself in a useless spot where I can't do anything, and my team is beginning to fall apart. At this point, I pretty much decided i just uh, sort of yellow it because I've already fucked up so badly. So I go to dive in to help the 103, instead I manage to get a shot to the side of the tiger as he drives out into the open. I'm trying to figure out what's going on here and if I can afford to push up into the river. to take the plunge and so I head down to help the M103 and Tiger out with the IS-6 down here 
and somebody is shooting either a 75mm gun or HE at that guy, probably the tiger. Or actually not the tiger, the tiger is actually supposedly a decent player. Either way, our E50 dries out into the open and gets himself brutalized by this T34. Now if I wasn't having to deal with 290 milliseconds of ping and constant tackle loss, these shots would have easily dealt with that T34, but my connection was being problematic at the time. And so he lived a lot longer than he should have. Pop out around the corner, spot the ISU. I'm lucky in that he's turning and reversing into cover. Managed to actually get a shot through his lower plate as he backs over the hill. Got an IS loose in our base, so Quezo was spotted by it and dealt with by the enemy Artie. There's an IS-8 and an ST-1 in our base as well, and the 101's on his way in. Our team meanwhile is spread out from one end of the map to the other. It's looking pretty grim at this stage, and our team was just so completely disorganized, I didn't expect them to be able to pull this out. So I decide first things first, I'll go back and deal with the shit in our base. Because we will absolutely lose with 100% certainty if that doesn't get cleaned up. and ones on the wrong side of the rock for me to hit. So I begin to move around the side. Now remember, if he high rolls, he can, uh, I believe he can one-shot me. His average damage is 250. Or if he can't one-shot me, he can damn near do it. IS fucks up badly. Gets a bit of luck there, but it's not enough to save him. And then the 101 does get a slight high roll into me, but I'm able to take him out. So now it's looking really bad. But we still have a T30 in the fight. We also have luck on our side as the T30 first Amaraxi ISA. then complains about world bullshit OP tank destroyers apparently because trying to face hug a T30 is a good idea. T30 then manages to rack the ST1 which was really good because he was the best player on their team. He was also probably the hardest thing to deal with. ST1 has ridiculous armor. A very big scary gun. So our T30 actually probably just saved the game there. However he's quite low on hit points and the enemy T28 proto turns up before I can get over there to help him. You can see the T29 is just following me around like a lost puppy, he doesn't know what he's doing. Also notice the rest of our team pushed onto the enemy side of the map and died instead of coming back. So I low roll there. It doesn't matter because Artie's got my back. T28 proto goes down. I'm still sitting at just 45 hit points. I've only done just over a thousand damage, so this is, I mean, this is a bad game. I played this so, so terribly. I mean, I threw away my hit points, I was out of position. I haven't contributed, not, not even close to enough at this point. And so I was pretty pissed off at myself. I can't remember if Sophie was streaming this or not, but I do remember I was getting quite irritated in uh, TeamSpeak. Just because I felt that this was primarily my fault if I'd actually played more the way I usually do, played a little better and done a bit more, this situation wouldn't have happened. Enemy Tiger spots our Lorraine 155 who was up on the hillside and takes him out. That's the big problem with that hillside. If the enemy come anywhere near you, you'll get lit. And once you are lit, there's nowhere to go. Our T29 inexplicably drives into the central river, right in front of an ISU, and he gets so fucking lucky that that thing doesn't kill him. 
I don't know why he drove down there. I don't know how the ISU fucked that up, but it manages to buy me time to work my way in around here. Now, I know I'm going to have to tip him off to where I am by going through the cap zone, otherwise I will have no cover as I approach him. So there's a lesser of two evils here. I keep this rock between myself and him. I can see him knocking trees over, so I know he's still there. But right as I was hoping to get a nice little keyhole shot on that guy, the ISU turns up to crash my party. Get lucky with a snapshot. At this point I've got gold loaded because I just cannot afford to bounce. I'll go for a blind shot on the arty because I know I've got the time to reload. The ISU will not push me around this rock, he hasn't got the room to do it. Here I very nearly fuck up. That shot was so lucky. Uh, if you were paying attention, you would have seen it hit him directly in his mantlet. If that was not a gold ground, that would have bounced. And I would have been dead. But thankfully, RNG carried us. Now watch this. RT-29 drives onto the cap when we're being capped out by the tiger. He could have stopped and turned around. He doesn't. He just goes in the cap. You can see I'm not going to try and cap with him, so we haven't got time for him to fuck around here by himself. And then he just sits there. He's not even trying to go back. I mean, I could understand if he drove onto cap, then turned around as soon as he realized we were being capped, but this is fucking ridiculous. Finally, after I ping the map about 50 times, he realizes what's going on and turns around. Unfortunately, he drives into the trench again instead of just straight across the bridge. One of the puppies gives the excuse that the T-29's not that fast, which is a load of shit. The T-29 could have been back in our base about a minute ago. Fuck up a couple of my shots here, just from the pressure of having to fucking clean up after this team. But thankfully I'm able to deal with the eye and then get a quick shot into the tiger. Now I didn't reset him, what happens is this moron drove out of cap. So I'm not sure who's more stupid, him or RT29. Not only does he drive out of cap when he could have easily capped us out, he then proceeds to drive across the bridge, which brings him not only in front of the T-29's gun, but also in front of my gun. So from that awful, awful start to the game, I was actually able to salvage a respectable amount of damage and pull off a win. It's just, sometimes I don't even know what game I'm playing. There's no way that should have been a win. There's no way I should have been able to get that much damage with 45 hit points. There's no way that T29 should have survived the game and just been so clueless. I, I don't understand. It, I don't know how these people are so bad. It just defies all logic. But anyway, that was, uh, <laughs> that was my Panther 2 game. And, uh... Hopefully the next time I play this tank, I won't have to put up with the same shit. Hopefully I won't play as badly next time. But, oh well, there you go. This one's not an example of good play. This is an, sorry, this is an example of terrible play and a lot of luck. It goes to show that, I mean, sometimes good players fuck up. And sometimes fuck-ups get lucky.